You have to change your perception. That's how it works. So, A, you begin to look at everything and everyone as God, as that. Now, to clear this, does this mean that on a physical human level, you have to go and agree with everyone and everything they do? Because they're all God? No, you don't have to. Do you need to like everybody that you meet? No, you don't have to like everybody you meet. Do I like everyone I meet? No, I don't. Some people I like, some people I don't. Some people bug the shit out of me. They bug me. I don't want to be around them. But do I love them? I do love their essence. I don't love their personality. I may not like the way they look. I may not like the way they behave. But I love their essence. Because their essence is my own self. It's God. So, the way I see that there is nobody separated from me, nobody outside of myself ever existed or ever will exist because it's all the one. That's one thing you can do on your human psyche level, okay? So that's something you can work on with yourself to shift your perception, how you look at that, that you work on yourself. That's in the mental area, that's in the psyche area that you do, okay? So now, while you're doing this, okay, you're shifting your perception, you're opening your perception, you're looking at the bigger picture, wider picture. And now you're not questioning things, that why the world is like this, why God created it, da da da, da why... What a mean guy, God it is that it's done this and that and is killing kids in Africa and has created all these evil pharmaceutical company to drug people and blah, blah, blah. All these screwed up things. Now you're going beyond that because you're looking at these evil corporations that are being run by God. They are a part of yourself. They are an aspect of yourself. They're the evil and dark side of your own self. So now you're starting to look at things that there is no other. There's no one else. It's only you. You're the only one. It's all one. So then your fear starts to disappear. You're not afraid of what they're going to do to you because you and them are one. You're not separated from them. They're aspects of yourself. So they can't harm. It's like I say, my right hand is going to destroy my left hand. Have you ever had your right hand attacking your left hand? You pick up a knife and you wanna cut this hand and this hand is fighting with this hand. So they're in a battle with each other. Has it ever happened to you? Have you ever seen that? Does ever your right hand attack your left hand? I mean, if I say this to you, you tell me what kind of stupid thing is this, Zaratustra? What did you smoke last night? What was in that bottle of Akavit or tequila that you drank last night? So your right hand is not going to attack your left hand. They're all one. Your right eye is not going to have a conflict with your left eye. It's all yourself. 
same thing. You have to grow out of this duality world of others to recognize and to look at it as yourself. This is yourself. You're always looking at yourself. Now, on a human level, let's say it's, it's 11 o'clock at night, you park your car in, on the street and it's a little bit dark and there is some weird guy walking down the street and he's kind of sh shabby, shady. Naturally, your nervous system is going to be a little bit frozen. You're going to be a little bit scared. You're going to be a little worried. At that moment, you're not going to tell your, you're not going to walk to this guy and say, Oh, Lord, you are myself and come and rape me or do whatever you want. No, on a human level, while you have the awareness that that's an aspect of yourself, but in the meantime, you are careful. That's on a human level. That's practical every day. But in a deeper level, you never lose perspective that that person is an aspect of yourself. You know that. Do you understand the difference? It's very important. So you're not in this illusion. Because a lot of people struggle with that. So that's one thing. Another thing is that if you want to come to this higher level of consciousness, and again, in the workshop, we're going to get into these things. I'm going to help you with it with certain meditation, certain activation, because we're going to be working on, because these are in the mental level. This is why I'm speaking to you, right? I'm telling you this. I'm telling you that. I'm sharing with you. What is it you need to do to get free? Get free from your crazy mind that takes you in all these places and drives you nuts. How do you free yourself from this? How do you free yourself from lack of self-love? That you don't love yourself. How do you free yourself from this place that you don't accept yourself? You don't see yourself as who you really are. You don't see your own beauty. You think you're going to drop and die because of Corona. You think you're going to end. You think that the evil forces are going to tear you apart. How do you free yourself from all these things? How do you turn everything around and move into this harmony within yourself? Not changing the world, moving into the inner harmony and, and finding the inner stillness So no matter what happens in the pendulum of the world, you are not affected. The world goes up and down as it's happening right now. We can see it right now. This is the best example it could have ever been. It turned upside down. What was down is up. What was up is down. It didn't think it's going to happen in this lifetime. You read it in these different books, but you didn't think it's going to happen, happen to you, but it happened. It's happening right now. Can't be any more clear than that. This is perfect opportunity. This is divine setup, completely set up for us. So what do we do? What am I going to do with this? How do I... How do I go beyond? 